My name is Rob Wales, and I'm here to ask for your vote for the European Eel. And the old iron, and the old iron, and the, and the, and the old iron. The European Eel should win. It's an animal local to me that lives its life in the Thames, and its numbers have dropped by 90% since the 1970s. Actually, much like flared trousers in that respect. It's an amazing journey, travelling 12,000 kilometres over its lifetime. It spawns south of Bermuda and travels on the Gulf Stream, 6,000 kilometres to the fresh waters of Europe, where it grows to be the eel that we know and recognise. Here's one dressed as a cockney. Around a decade later, it returns again to the sea to spawn. Once it's left those fresh waters of Europe, its stomach dissolves entirely, meaning it doesn't feed once on the way. I would definitely need snacks if I took that journey on. Vote for the European eel so we could have a jolly good Easter knees up in its celebration. Except for the eel, because it's not got any knees. Simon, over to you. The European common eel is now critically endangered, making its name really quite inappropriate. But it's an amazing fish. The longest eel ever found was nearly five feet long. And unlike many other migrating fish, the eels begin their life cycle in the ocean and then spend most of their life in fresh water before returning to the ocean to spawn and die. I've been Rob Wales, and if you want to vote for the European common eel, simply like this video below. And if you want to learn more about other ugly animals, watch one of these videos on the left. But only after you've voted for the eel. So click and then click. Vote eel. <laughs>